at the Federal Demonstration Partnership, which was originally called the Florida Demonstration Project, way back in the, what, 84, 85 is when it started in Florida. And then I think right around 89 is when it went national and not just Florida institutions could join it. But in any case, in the early 90s, okay, who here has heard of the expanded authorities? That comes from the FDP project. The expanded authorities did not exist before the de Federal Demonstration Partnership, and they came out in the early 90s, and they were only available to FDP institutions, the expanded authorities. And what I mean by expanded authorities is um, prior approval, um, I'm sorry, so let me say that again, uh, no cost extension up to 12 months that we can grant for ourselves. Now, we can't do that on contracts, but that standard ability um, up to 90 days pre-award costs, uh, carry forward of, of unexpended amounts to the next budget period, and several other things. Those are expanded authorities. Before 1993, somewhere in there, you had to go back to a federal agency every single time on every grant for all those things. And it was just something that was tested out, and, it, and these FDP member institutions were part of that test and they had to keep metrics and so forth of every transaction that they did, plus they had to do it the normal way, okay? So they, they had to keep track, but that extra work allowed this to happen, and the federal government realized, well, we're, we're approving no-cost extensions 99% of the time, so why are we even bothering to worry about it? We need to know that it's extended because we've got to change our closeout um, target dates, but as long as they tell us in advance that they've extended it, we're pretty good to go. I mean, the federal government's said it just like that. We're pretty good to go. And so they implemented, what is it, the 45-day, I think it is, is the standard, but some agencies do it slightly differently, that they want you to let them know when you are implementing your own up to 12-month, one-time, no-cost extension. You just need to let them know in advance so that they can modify their system and change the end date in their system so they don't send you reminders about closeout reports and so forth. And that was all part of the FDP. The problem is, is where that is stated is in subpart D, the part of the uniform guidance that doesn't apply to contracts. So because it doesn't apply to contracts, the concept of expanded authorities does not apply to contracts. That's why you can't do the automatic no-cost extension, the pre-award costs and so forth on a contract is because where we have that authority to do it in the first place is in the part of the uniform guidance that doesn't apply to contracts.